think right now is a really important time to be talking about anger toward men with the Barbie movie and all the other things coming up because a lot of times when it's talked about it's from one of two extremes and there's more nuance to it. When I was really evaluating what I wanted with relationships and things like that and coming to terms with a lot of what I had been through with men, I knew that I wanted to be making the decision to be single and solo poly from a very aligned and powered place and not a wounded place. Because for all of us that are feeling that anger, underneath it is a lot of hurt and mistrust for the experiences that we've had and for women and AFAP people around us. And making the decision to be single means you also need to be dealing with that anger because if you're not, it's just going to fester. It doesn't go anywhere and nothing happens with it other than the anger builds up. And the thing is, we have to deal with that and we have to deal with the hurts and the mistrust that we have and there is space and validity in that. But we also need to be dealing with it so that we can desire for men to be better and create space for them to do that and it doesn't mean that it's totally our responsibility to create that space right they have to seek it out themselves too but not even giving that permission and allowance to do it and just being like fuck you i hate you i want you all to like leave this planet it's not helping because in our society we have to want people to be better. We have to want them to become better because it benefits all of us. It benefits them, it benefits us, it benefits the collective. So dealing with that anger is necessary so we can live happier lives in a place of choosing because that's what we want for ourselves and then give allowance to men to be better so we can all collectively start breaking down the systems and the beliefs that have made those hurts exist in the first place. The more that I've done that for myself and then learning to choose this for me, the relationships that I have with men are so much better and like the men that I have as friends, the men that I choose to engage with in any type of romantic way, and the men that are my clients, like I want the best for them. I want them to be playing with their inner children. I want them to be opening up and being vulnerable. I want them to be happy. I want them to feel like they're connecting with themselves in the world because that's what I want for me too. But you have to do that from that place of healing. So I think it's really important to deal with that and maybe take some time to reflect on it and get and process those feelings. So the choice you're making for yourself is one that feels really, really good to you and aligned with you. And you can do that from this really open place that doesn't have you shut off to the world because you are feeling that anger and that hurt. But it's from this place of like, oh no, this is just me. I am living me. I'm living my life and enjoying it. Um, check out my bio because in September I have a program starting for women in AFAB called Solo and Satisfied where we are going to dive into building confidence and trusting yourself and having fun being solo and feeling satisfied by that.